Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, for purchase and pricing. Today, we're discussing a 2020 model year limited edition of 1,000 pieces, 40 millimeters in stainless steel. This is the Patek Philippe Calatrava 6007A-001, also known, ironically, as the new manufacturer 2019 watch. This is a 2020 model year watch that takes the uncommon combination of stainless steel and a Calatrava case and puts them together in a big and bold form that's rather striking in its geometries. So you can see the watch is 40 millimeters in diameter by 9.2 millimeters thick. From lug to lug, it is 48.5 millimeters with a strikingly broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. This is a new mark for a Patek Fleet Calatrava as broad lug spacings are sort of the hallmark of modern watches and this one is quite nicely stanced. You can see on my wrist, it easily slides underneath the cuff, no issues there. From over the top, it is broader across the wrist than your average Calatrava. I would recommend it for a wrist smaller than 14 centimeters circumference. Uh, and you can see from overhead, it is just about filling out my 16 centimeter circumference wrist with a little bit of clearance on each side. Taking a quick look at the strap, it is an embossed calfskin on the top. It looks like textile, it is actually leather. It's a sort of slate gray blue that matches the dial with a contrasting stitch, a little bit of bolstering to give it some volume, a folded edge, and then on the underside, you can see a more conventional calfskin. Pull tab spring bars are used, so you can remove the strap without any kind of tools. And then you have a simple Patek Philippe spade style polished stainless steel buckle to match. The lug profiles are fascinating. You, you would assume, given how striking, strong, and angular they are up to their tip, that they might terminate in a point, but instead there's a sort of wraparound that draws the case band around the tips of the lugs, and it's kind of graceful. It's a handsome transitional surface, but it maintains a hard break between the lug hoods and the case flank, which I enjoy, giving this watch a lot of physical presence. Those are very strong lugs for a dress watch. Now, you'll note that the bezel itself is shallow, and it's actually domed. It's very lightly domed. It's not a flat conical plane, so there is some grace there. A simple Calatrava cross crown, roll over to the dial side. This is where all the action happens on the 6007A. It is the same color as the strap, and it's sort of between blue and gray. Slate is the term. It's mostly metallic, and you can see outboard there's a chaptering featuring hash marks as well as numerals for reading the seconds and the minutes. Then you move inboard, and you can see that there is a little bit of a downward step to that intermediate dial that bears the hour numerals. It has a brushed circumferential concentric grain to it, and the numerals themselves are applique white gold and radially arrayed, that is, they point outward. There's a sort of railroad track, minutes and seconds track inboard of that, and then what Patek calls a carbon pattern over the center. If you've seen woven carbon fiber, like with a 3K weave, it looks like that. I prefer to think of it as more of a conventional cross hatching. It is a stamped guilloche, and then at center, you have three white lacquered hands, and there is plenty of loom, so there will be a loom shot here. Around the backside, you can't see maybe as much of the caliber 324SC as you would like to. You can see why I called the 2019 new manufacturer watch. The watch was launched to celebrate the opening in 2019 of a new Patek Fleet manufacturer in Geneva. Of course, the watch itself was launched in 2020. Underneath, you can see the Caliber 324 SC. Automatic winding, 45 hour power reserve, eight beats per second, quick set date. It does not have hacking, but it does have a free sprung gyro max style balance structure and regulator that is adjusted in six positions and features an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. You can see that the movement, which features 29 joules, is handsomely hand finished with mirrored anglage. There is uh, engine turning on the base plate, black polished screw heads with chamfered slots and circumference, linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, circular Cote de Genève across the rotor, and then you can see the image of the manufacturer, the Calatrava cross at center on the dial. Uh, the timepiece is 30 meters water resistant with a screwed in case back. It's probably a little bit more water resistant in practice than a standard Calatrava, but you also don't want to push the limits there. Uh, the timepiece is guaranteed to run from the factory no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day. So all of those Patek Philippe tech technical innovations, Gyromax, Spiromax, six position adjustment in the movement, it does bear fruit. And the watch is guaranteed to a level of chronometric precision that is something that most haute horlogerie brands do not do. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing.
and we are back with the Patek Philippe 6007A, the Calatrava new manufacturer.